there are always warning signs that you can check for in the beginning of a relationship. So let me give you an analogy. If you've ever been on a plane before, the first thing you do before you get on that plane is check your baggage at the gate. You check your baggage, your luggage, your issues, your drama, all of that mess at the gate. Then you walk through a radar system or device and they scan your person to make sure that there's nothing on your physical body that can cause harm to the other passengers on board, right? You may be randomly selected, they may open up your luggage and look through all your dirty laundry to see if you're concealing something that may be a potential threat to the other passengers on board. So in essence, they scrutinize you, they interrogate you, they send you through a line of questioning, and so it could be a very intense experience. But interestingly, when we get into relationships, oftentimes we don't ask any questions, we don't do any investigating, we just allow everybody to just jump on board with all of their issues, with all of their drama, with all of their mess, and they wind up intoxicating us and destroying the relationship. And so as Chris Rock said, when you first meet somebody, you're not reading the, meeting the real person, you're meeting their representative. And that's the time where many of us put our, our best foot forward, right? But what does that mean? It means that we're hiding the other foot with the crooked toe, the bunions, and the corns. Because we don't want people to see that side of us. And so, just like a job interview, the dating season is an interview process, a selection process. And just as we know how to lie our way through an interview, we know how, how to lie and deceive our way through a dating experience. So I always encourage people to take your time play detective and act naive. So in essence, rather than paying attention to what people say, watch their actions, watch their behaviors, see how they interact, see what kind of relationships they have with other people. On a job, you go through a 90-day probationary period because they want to know, will you live up to everything you said in that interview? Well, in dating, we do a whole lot of talking, but the, the question is, can you practice what it is that you preach? So by playing detective and acting naive, will give you all of the true answers that you need to know in terms of whether they're warning signs or not.